Hello friends, I hope you are well. It is time once again to do the weekly AI art challenge in my community. So we're gonna spend the next 20 minutes catching up, chatting and painting. Before that, we're gonna check out the previous winners and some of the submissions going on right now. Let's have some fun and uh, let's get started. Hey, by the way, why don't clams give it to charity? Because they're shellfish. Here we are again, my friends, on the tube of you and me, the YouTube. I thought we we're gonna start with checking out what's been happening with the weekly challenges lately. So last week, the challenge was fairy tales. Or actually, I think, let's just go through them anyway. So we had a food challenge, which Jaharoni got. This is kind of cool. Very detailed. This image is very nice. I liked it the first time I saw it. Second place here went to uh, Mr. Rune with his hamburger. Man, it makes me hungry. I might make a hamburger later. Sometimes I sneak up at night and uh, go fry a hamburger or two. Well, not two burgers, but I, I might make a double burger. So you can count it as two if you want to. Here for number 16, we had the winner, Dr. Kairos. This was also a very good image. I like this. And the runner up was um, the Royal Tea. What's the difference between a regular tea and the Royal Tea? Is that the um, Earl Grey part? Are Earls royalty? Or is that just, I don't know. And the latest challenge, number 17, we had Fairy Tales. And this was won by Eldesia. And I really like this image because the composition is just great. The focus here is amazing. I love the reflection here in the floor and such. You get a feel of what's going on. This, this looks like some sort of ballroom and you would have like, they would have servants really polishing this floor. Really nice. And runner up here went to Woof. And it looks like some kind of uh, Jack and the Beanstalk kind of thing. I like this as well. Let's zoom in a bit. Well, up and up and up it goes and there he is and there's a little path up here it's like a, i feel like it's upside down that really isn't anyway very nice as well good job guys i'm proud of you proud dad of all my little siblings this week we have magical world of underwater myths and legends create an image that brings to life an underwater scene with a mythical creature so we got some great submissions here already we have cthulhu here posted just recently these guys uh, down here doesn't seem to care a bit we got the lady of the underwater palace i like this very nice we got a double fish here but i mean the rest is fantastic. It's a great looking image. I like this as well. It, it gives me those Bioshock vibes. And this little scary squid or Cthulhu-like monster in the background. And, and you know, the orange lights here just, oh, it's amazing. It makes the image pop. And uh, as of right now, it's, um, we actually voted for that. And this, it's kind of cheating, in it, isn't it? I'll give one to Cthulhu as well. This one has 18 now, so it's um, looking to take the crown. It ends Sunday at 8 CEST, which is uh, Europe or Sweden time. There's some great stuff here. I like this. I mean, I like a lot of them. Don't feel sad if I leave yours out. It's like... Um, is it alive? Is it not? Is it a carcass with like growing stuff on top of it? Makes me think of, you know, Discworld and a turtle with the elephants on it and everything. I like Discworld. Then we got some mermaids going on. We got Poseidon here. This is like a game cover art. Very nice. If you want to have a closer look, you can find this in the Discord. And the Discord is in the video and the channel description. Anyway, I thought we we're going to do the weekly challenge for once. Well, we have done it before, but it's been a while. All right, let's get this show on the road. So I'm going to load some styles here and these are available in the description below. So ju just go get them if you want that. I'm going to write uh, how about evil Poseidon Cthulhu. I'm going to raise the weight of that a little bit with roll arrow up. We're running currently the colorful model and we have a width at 768 and a height at 512. We're just going to run this for four images. We're going to lower the scale a little bit and let's just get started. Let's see what we get. What we're doing now is creating sort of the, the composition of the scene. 
and we're gonna add into uh we're gonna add the details later oh i like this we got some hands here as well painting this you know what i actually like this see if this works maybe the hands are gonna get borked up but uh send this to image to image we're gonna add in drawing up here and then we are gonna make this bigger make the logo bigger but in this instance it's actually an image so instead of sliding this we're just gonna type 1024 here and press my little aspect ratio button down here so we have the 3.2 i'm gonna lower the denoising a little bit to 0.6 as well i usually do that for the next pass i'm gonna have two batches i'm gonna change this into two mcaris up the steps a little bit and then we are trying again we're gonna get two new images out of this so we'll have two to choose from now the renders here are gonna be noticeable slower because we are upping the resolution quite a bit now that was a little heavy for my computer and obs to run at the same time so i had to go back and lower this to 768 and we'll keep the same aspect ratio and here are the results we got um i mean it's fairly okay the hand well the right hand is okay the left hand is you know kind of weird the face is nice and the pens lying around here they're kind of cool but let's try and run a couple more just to see if we can get some better hands out of this so we're currently running at four batches and let's just just look at the right hand for now because i think we're going to remove the left one so this one's fairly okay Okay, it's so now. Nah, well, we'll see. They're all a little wonky, but this one's I think is closest. We'll stick with that one. So we're gonna take that. We're gonna send that into InPaint. We're actually gonna start with uh, the InPaint sketch. Can we send this to InPaint sketch? We have to go from here, right? So we're sending this then again to InPaint sketch, and then we're gonna paint here. We're gonna take the color pick and let's take some blue here raise this a little bit and i'm zooming in here now with shift scroll and this is an extension that you can find which is aptly named canvas zoom this one here you can find that in the list of available let's go back and paint out our little hand here i think this will be some sort of tentacles just expanding here not gonna be perfect we just get some color in there for to make it feel a little well not 3d but so the ai has something to work with there we go we're gonna have here cthulhu tentacles usually i am paint with the only mask that would make this at full resolution but that would def differ too much with the tentacles here so for now we're just gonna try and get this to work with um, what we have here i'm gonna start off with two batches so now we'll keep the same resolution all over the image now it seems we did break the image somehow so we're just gonna reset this put that back in i probably messed something up there when i um, went com Control z and Control shift z and everything so we're just gonna redo that there we go get some of that, of that beautiful light blue back in there a little bigger just like his beautiful little eye here clear oh, that's fairly rough but well, let's try again leaving a little thing of a jig down here that's okay so now we're seeing something that's much better now it's not perfect i'm not going to tell you that but at least we're getting some texture we're going to improve on this anyway so we have our little tentacles here so we're going to take this and we are going to send this back into image to image we're just going to run a full pass on this again we're going to add back in evil poseidon or was it poseidon thulu something and now we're running a full pass on the image just to get the tentacles back in here and make them look decent it will change the image again so we might need to lower the denoising strength we'll see about that yeah i think i mean while this was kind of cool i like this i like little staff here i'm actually gonna lower the denoising a bit to be a little bit closer to the original i don't mind if we lose some of it but see if we can keep the face now we've got two new ones and i think these are better you can see that the the tentacles down here are starting to make sense let's take this and let's just run this again actually i'm gonna up a little bit because now i need recreating him a little bit again or her i don't know is this poseidon cthulhu sexless i have no idea i don't think i've read any official cthulhu lore now this is a little too far try again what's this weird part down here now let's back add back in drawing on 
paper and now we're generating once more and this is a very iterative process and something i like now it's not a perfect for a video you have to stick with me for quite some time here which can be both good and bad now this one broke uh, which is kind of sad because i saw some potential in what i saw with the pen there so let's run two new ones but yeah i was saying it's a very iterative process so it's kind of calming just sitting here and seeing what the ai spits out for you We're just gonna remove this hand altogether. So I'm gonna take the color here, gonna paint that stuff away. Ba -da -bum, bum, there we go. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna iterate in steps as we always do. Painting, painting, painting. We're copying that to image to image and we are gonna go back into our original prompt, which was evil, Poseidon, Cthulhu. I'm gonna go back in with the colorful model. And we are once more generating, iterating on this image. Step by step by step. And there we go. Now we have a couple of pens here or pencils and we have something up here. So I can think this is fine. So let's send this to InPaint. And we are gonna start with painting his face here just to add some detail into that we're going to put in evil poseidon cthulhu face and remember to embed only mask now because we're adding detail now i have the denoising to 0.6 i'm uh, fairly happy with changing the image a bit at this stage we just need to make sure that it blends nicely together with the rest now you could be using an in painting model here and we'll see if what we need to depends on the results we get. I think this is fairly okay to be honest. I'm gonna take this evil one here. So we're gonna reset this, drag that there and we are gonna start adding some details into the tentacles here. A little bit at a time, not too much or else we're not gonna get the detail we're looking for. Now you could do this with a higher resolution and I probably could get it a little higher but i don't want to mess with the video recording here so we're going to stick with this for now let's see if this prompt will be enough with our style now we actually forgot the styles before the painting. now it doesn't really matter as we have the original colors in the background here but uh, we're just gonna add them anyway so we are getting some more details in his tentacles here i think it seems like the second and one no kind of messed up we'll use the first one i think i think we're gonna add some more detail to the tentacles on the right side here maybe we're just gonna start up here this little bugger right there you can see now while we're zoomed in the extra detail that we're getting the smaller part that you in paint the more detail you get because the, the well the image the, it's it's a higher resolution now if you would in paint like a, a large well first let me take one of these now if you would in paint like this you would say oh that's a fairly small part well yes but but the resolution on the width here is going to be well almost full full of the image you're not going to get a lot of details so try and Think of small little squares around little tentacles here. Generate again. And if you're looking for really high resolution image images, you could do this on an already like 1920 by 1080 image and just keep working. And you can get like beautiful 4K stuff before you're even upscaling. Let's see, what's this in the background? That's some sort of creature. Let's put in that as a Thulu squid baby. Let's see what we get. We're getting something. This is a pretty cool looking eye there. Let's take that one. We're gonna drag that in there. I think we have, uh, this looks like some sort of a spider tentacle thing. Gonna call that Cthulhu spider baby. Let's see what we get. Now spiders don't generally live in the sea, but as you can see here, we have actually can see that they're in the sea but above the sea coming from the ceiling probably so i think that's fine unless it's some sort of aquatic spider and since we are in a fantasy world i'd say that works now this looks like a spiderish but i think this is more cthulhu like so i'm going to take this one and i think the background here we're actually going to add some sort of altar so we have exactly sacrificial altar on rock in water let's see if that works so we're getting some rocks here and i think well we only got some rocks now they're 
good looking rocks, I'll give you that. But we didn't get the altar. We could try to change the denoising a little bit. So we're upping that to 0 0.7. We're drawing again or generating again. I haven't drawn anything for a really long time. I draw with the kids sometimes. They love drawing little bits and pieces and people and animals and houses and whatnot. It's great fun. Now we didn't get the altar here either, but I think this is a fairly good looking stone. We have some foliage growing on here and this is like a, not all, almost like a monolith with a square part up here. I think we're just going to stick with that. We're going to drop that back in there. It seems our, our canvas zoom is bugging a little bit. You can see if we don't have the exact size when we drop the image in. There we go. And you get that little scroll there. So if you're using that, you might remember that. Uh, we have a tentacle coming down up here. So we're going to add some detail there. We have our Cthulhu tentacles. Maybe a little small for what we're doing. Let's see what the next image gets us. It actually added like some sort of Cthulhu down there. Let's see how that works in the full image. Mm, I don't know. What do you guys think? It's like a second weird creature. Let's stick with it. It's one of those happy little accidents, right? So what do we need to do now? Um, maybe the eyes? Evil red eyes. Now that looks like one of those eyes is fairly big compared to the other. Let's see how it finishes up. We did get some new eyes. They're both fairly big. I like the little shine that we got here in the eye. This one's kind of weird because of this big eye. So kind of like that. They're still keeping that angry look that we had. This one isn't as angry, so I'm going to stick with this. And okay, let's drag that back in there. I think I'm going to finish this off by fixing the pens here. Well, not fixing them, but just adding some detail into them. Here we go. Pen on top of painting. Let's see works. Now the first one was okay-ish, the second one barely worked, but I might want to change this into a pencil, so I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to lower the denoising again to 0.6. We don't need a lot of changes. We are going again. It's a fairly cool looking pencil, and we've actually got some blue down here. I think we might, uh, might want to use that. Let's see when it finishes up. If it finishes up. I've noticed lately I'm having a harder, harder time to generate while I'm recording, so I need to have a look into that. Maybe they've changed the memory optimizations or something in the new releases. So there we go. I think that's fairly okay. The second one kind of broke. We'll go with this one. So here we have our Cthulhu. By the way, did you hear the joke about uh, Cthulhu? Eh, never mind. It's an old one. So we are going to send this into process. Oh. Error. Nice. So I go back then. I'm going to save this onto my desktop. going to go back into process then. And we're going to drop it from the desktop instead. There we go. We're going to just upsize this two times. We are generating. While that's generating, we are starting photo piece. We can add just some finishing touches to that. There we go. Now it has a very painterly style. So it's very rough if you look at the edges here in the style here. It might not be as detailed as some of my other work. When it comes to art, it's not all about the details. It's actually having, well, something that you enjoy. We're going to add some curves here to this image. We're going to add some contrast, one more black there, and then some more light up here. Not too much. So just from a little bleak here before, after, before, after. Now that's a, quite a lot of contrast, but that's okay. Then I'm going to add an unsharp mask here, just to sharpen a little bit. going to add 75% at 2 pixels. And now it doesn't do a lot. You might need to lower this, but just so you, you can see here is the before. Now this is yeah before, after, before, after. So it adds a significant amount of detail or sharpness. We're just going to lower that a little bit. And there we go. Here is our Cthulhu painting drawing. Well, Poseidon, Cthulhu, whatever. So we will be exporting this. Let's have a PNG here. And we're going to start up our Discord and add this into the weekly challenge. As always, 
don't vote for me. I'm just doing it for uh, just to have a little chat with you guys. So we can spend some time together here and create some art. So let's call this um, Evil Poseidon Cthulhu. Hi everyone watching this video. I hope you had fun. As always, have a good one. See you.